So great success has been achieved by the GF video that I've made. And it kinda blew up. Hey honey. Hey baby. To the point that someone with double subscribers as I copied my idea. So uh, you all ask me for source code. So here is me explaining the code and giving you the code for free. Make sure to join the Discord server and would be appreciated if you donate because it will help me buying a new laptop. So uh, let's get into it. So, in this bot, I've used three main things. Firstly, my API. Secondly, the alt flow. And thirdly, or is that a word? I don't know. Anyways, this Discord, uh, this npm package. Okay. So, um, so let me explain to you my code basically. So uh, first of all, I had to require .env uh, to basically make my .env file work. And then um, I got client and intents from this world. Just basic stuff. Okay, creating basic bot. Uh, here from um, the Discord yes slash voice, I had to get the join, uh, voice channel, create audio resource, create audio player, get voice connection, and you will see why. Here uh, is basically the voice recognition or the speech recognition basically, so whenever I talk the bot knows what I'm saying. Um, let me also show you all the packages, so uh, Discord yes voice, Axios, um, you can either, either use Axios or Notefetch, but I had both, so I can just test uh, test it on both, just in case. But you only need one. I've explained actually in the last video, and um, the voice recognition, this could address NodeMV and tweet. Now, don't ask me what is this, but it is required to make. Um, Discord JS slash voice works. Okay. So, um, reply equal require AI is basically this file I've made. It's it basically has a function. So, everything in this file, I've basically explained it in the last video the how to make your own chatbot AI. So, um, yeah. Uh, here I basically started fetching this dialog flow. Is I'm going. I'm not going to just actually just re um, re explain this. You can just take a look at the video. It's over here now uh, on the top. So um, yeah, I'll skip on this. You can watch the other video. Here I basically just put the intents. Uh, I uh, logged in. I started using uh, the token, the boss token. Here I've used the add speech function that is um, offered by the Discord speech recognition package and I said that the language is going to be English. Okay, you can take a look at their documentation here. Okay, it was add speech here. I guess this one, right? So here's an option, here's an example. This is probably Polish and Poland. Okay. Here, just so when the bot gets online, I know. I just constantly log it here. Uh, this is basic um, message create. I said here if the message author is a bot. So basically, if the person who sent the message is a bot, we want to return. Uh, and now, like, we, we don't want to do anything. And now we say if, um, if the message content is this command, basically called my GF, is gonna check uh, the voice channel the member is in. If he's not in a uh, in a channel, is gonna reply by, you need to be in a voice channel to use this command. 
and then it's going to continue the code normally which is basically join voice channel which is offered by uh, this code uh, js slash voice okay the needs the channel id the build id uh, don't ask me after this okay and self the uh, that you're gonna make it basically false because you want the bot to hear you talking okay here to this event is basically whenever I talk, there is a, like there is a context coming back. Okay, so here is uh, the context basically. So I said if there is no message to have content, you're gonna return. Okay, because like you can do wa la 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 like that. There is basically no content, but the bot hit something. So yeah, you're gonna just return. We don't want any errors. This. Yeah, I guess you can already tell what is it because when you say this word, okay, I don't want to get demonetized. Basically, um, uh, it's gonna it's gonna make it into this. Okay, it's so gonna type F and three stars. So we want to replace it. So we're gonna make the message content equal the message content, but replacing this by that. Okay. And now we can console log the message content if you want to, of course. But yeah. Uh, here let a let we source are empty blank variables that are made a player. Okay, using the uh, load, uh, the Discord JS slash voice package. Um, and here the same thing. Here we're getting the connection basically, so we can uh, uh like we can work using it. Like we we can know which channel the bot is in and all these data okay basically um so now we did we uh, uh, assigned a uh like a value which is going to be our uh function basically it, it requires the user id which is basically a session id for dl flow okay and it requires a message content because it needs something to reply to right here and then resource is gonna be basically uh, create audio resource we're basically basically making the bot say something like give us something a resource basically um, which is gonna be my API here we're basically fetching it uh, putting the API key and putting the query is gonna be basically a which is uh, the reply of the bot Voice connection or subscribe is basically just join like um, uh, like how to say that um, giving this like playing the music uh, not, not not the music the uh, the audio resource okay and uh, yeah this was basically something I've made because I said when I say bye the bot should reply with this basically. Okay, so I want to check if it is like this, I want to make the bot leave after 7 seconds because basically the bot will take 7 seconds to uh, say this. So uh, yeah, I just said if it is like that, uh, if, it is, if, it, if it is this, wait 7 seconds and then leave the channel, okay, uh, after playing it of course. Else just play it i guess the code is fairly easy um, um you can actually go to my github okay here we go let me just do uh, like this oh come on no i don't know this i did all right so you can go to my uh github here you'll find the source code totally for free um, yeah, there's something really important you should do, which is go click here. Easy. Okay, so um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. I hope you really liked the idea. Uh, last video I said uh, if it got 50 likes, I'll make it that locator, and apparently it got like 200 plus. So uh, 
wait me in the next video, okay? So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and to subscribe. And to leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be. That's it. And ciao.